to cut that. So one more thing. But turned out pretty good. Okay, so wheels are off to powder coat. Um, the super wrap was stupidly hard to take off. They're they're just gonna take it off for me like during the sandblasting and stuff like that. It'll come off. But all right, here at the shop, wheels look great. Send me a picture. And they look so good. The clean, got like a nice pearl to it. But finally. Getting these things off. I hate these stock wheels. Ugly. Oh, this is why I want an actual garage. And so at least I could leave this set up or have the right tools. Right now I'm working on the apartment. So it takes a little longer to change a set of wheels. What are you gonna do? So I forgot to mention that I'm going with some different lug nuts. These ones are just so cheap. The coating on there, let me see if that'll focus for you guys. The coating on these was so cheap that, so even with the socket they provided, this crap still happened. So I was kind of irritated at the quality of the, the anodizing powder coat, whatever the hell this is that the black's on. So I ended up going with these instead. A um, little bit more pricey, but these are the Project Racing lug nuts. So one problem I had though right now is you can see I have all these out and I didn't realize that until I started doing those until, until I started installing these but the actual closed end part I'm not going to be able to keep because unfortunately my studs are too long um, and when I bought these studs I probably could have gone quite a bit shorter but I didn't so right now we have them with the open-ended lug nuts I still think it looks good I really like it but you can see how this just really brought the build looks a lot better now. Just clean versus the rear.
everyone, Cody Groom here. Today, we have the Build V2. I've been really excited to release this to you guys. Um, it's been something that, I don't know, it's taken a lot of work. Even though the car is technically, you know, just wrapped in the, like I didn't get new wheels, but they are powder coated a different color. It took a lot of time. There was a lot of like fiddling with shit, going to different shops. A big part of this car was made possible by 3RA Auto Works. Um, they're not a sponsor, but they're an amazing shop down here in San Marcos. And they did a lot of installation on this car. So I gotta give you props for that. Um, but just so you guys know, this is the beginning of V2. This is not the end. That's the main thing I wanna tell you guys. A lot of people release these cars on Instagram. They're like, oh, this is blah, blah, blah. No, this is the beginning. Like this car is gonna keep going. I wanna keep having fun, keep showing you guys. And you know, if anyone knows, the car is never finished. It's never done. There's, I don't know, there's always something else that can be tweaked or added. We got Ryan behind the camera. Follow him on Instagram, right there. And uh, let's get talking about the car though. So first up, I wanna talk about the exterior. Now I had a theme going with this car. I didn't want it to be something. I'm not a huge fan of super aggressive cars. I mean, I love them, just not for me. Like I, that's not the car that I personally want but I wanted something that still felt like OEM, but had these aggressive little touches throughout and just had a little bit of that tuner feel to it. So right here, the wrap is 3M, fuck, what's the name of the color? So fucking, I forgot the color of the wrap, but the wrap is 3M Fiery Orange. It's cool because it has this like, this almost like bronze to an orange tone, but it, but it, I, didn't, I didn't want just something that was like a normal color. I wanted it to be a little bit off. You know, moving through the car, there's a lot of little carbon fiber pieces. I love, I mean, who doesn't love more carbon fiber? It's like, it's, it's a part of life. Like, if a car doesn't have carbon, what, is it a car? I don't know. But, so, talk about little pieces. We got the carbon fiber front lip. That's from uh, AGM Motorsports. It's a replica front lip, but let's be honest, you're gonna break one, two, three. It's a front lip. I didn't wanna go with something like RPK and be always replacing. Um, then over here, we got some um, satin black side markers. Then we have the side skirts. Those are actually from AGM Motorsports as well. The back we have the rear lip, rear spoiler, whatever you're gonna call it, from uh, Marsh, yeah, can't pronounce his name, but you'll see the actual writing of how it's spelled. Um, I like it though, because it's a little more aggressive. I see everyone with the typical one that I had before, and it's a little more rounded at the top and just kind of stops there. This has some, you know, some little points here and there, and I like that it had some, a little bit aggressive, but still keeping it clean enough to where I didn't have, you know, a huge wing on the back. And then moving into the diffuser, this is a Vorsteiner GTS diffuser. Um, Vorsteiner makes incredible parts, and I always wanted something on the car that had, you know, the Vorsteiner look, fitment, stuff like that. I was actually a little disappointed though in how this fit, how it was to line up. It was a little bit harder to get this on. You know, me and 3RA Motorworks had to kind of work together and figure out, well, and we finally got it lined up pretty good. We got some slight fitment issues, but overall it looks really good. Um, wheels, these are the Apex EC7s um, running a staggered setup. So we have nine and a half in the front and 10 and a half in the rear. Um, and I believe it's plus 22 offset for both. Um, and then they're powder coated in a pearl white. So they're kind of cool because they have this off, they, they have a little bit off white, but they also have this nice pearl to them. The lug nuts are the, I believe it's called Project Iconic Racing, but I went with a different lug nut at first and I just noticed every time I was taking up the lug nuts, all it was doing was eating into that material. I think they were made out of aluminum versus, you know, these being from Ollie. And then on the front, we got uh, the Brembo GT kit. These are the 380 millimeter rotors. Um, so they're a little bit bigger than the 360 that they make. Um, who doesn't love a good pair of Brembos at front? I mean, I would love to have it all around, but at this point in time, we just have the one. So, or one. We have two, because like you need left and right. Other than that, we got some little carbon fiber pieces here and there, the hood vents, um, the emblems, the antenna on the roof. And then the roof is wrapped in Avery gloss black. I think that pretty much goes over the styling of the outside. Again, like this was wanted to be like that OEM feel, but also have these little tuner things in them. So um, let's talk a little bit about the interior. I, I always love a good interior. It feels like a car that looks good on the outside has to look good on the inside. It just 
you know, there's something about a car, and that can go for both ways. It can be something to where, in the inside, it's real rough because it's a, it's a race car or whatever. But in this case, I wanted to keep like the classiness of a BMW. So we got um, all the trim replaced with carbon fiber trim. Same with the steering wheel trim is from Auto Technic. And then we have the carbon fiber paddles. All the interior trim is by Auto Technic. And then we have the red gauges. Those are from Euro Customs PR. Really cool, it's just a vinyl overlay that goes over the gauges and it's cool to see something that, you know, is a subtlety and something that's really just, all it is a vinyl overlay and it really changes up the look of your interior. Um, then we got little stuff, like we have um, an Alcantara shift knob, but also in gloss black. So the typical one is in silver and it kind of matches some of the other little trim pieces, but it looks a little cheap. And also the back is typically leather. I wanted to kind of match the steering wheel, a little bit of Alcantara mixed in. So that's from IND. Then we have, last but not least, we have the actual steering wheel. The steering wheel is from AZ Auto Wheel and they did a phenomenal job. I messaged them, they had some different pictures of wheels that they sold, and I basically could say, hey, I want this, but I don't want this, don't want that. And so overall, I ended up with this. It's Alcantara on the tops and the bottom, um, because I felt like I, as driving it so often, I was gonna be holding here and just wearing the hell out of that Alcantara. So only one on the tops and the bottom, and then it's flat bottom as well. And then as far as engine, actually right now we're pretty stock on the engine. Um, something we're gonna, I'm later gonna be going forced induction, but as of right now, it's still stock. Now exhaust is where the setup changes a little bit. It's not stock. We have test pipes and then the end performance exhaust. So I really, I, I love it. Cause it's something to where I can kind of ride around town at zero to 4,000 RPM and really have it be pretty quiet. And then as soon as I hit 4,000 RPM, it's loud, it's, it's raspy and it, I, I love the sound of it. As far as the tune, we have it tuned by Gintani. Um, it's, I, I love it. It's got a little bit of burble to it. And it's cool because it just, just add some roughness to the car. I like that the fact that it, you know, it's got some pops, it's got some different things. And it just, as you're driving down the road, you get to enjoy these noises. Um, I, when I first got the car, I was listening to the stereo all the time. Now, I hardly have it on because I just want to hear what the car sounds like. So, huge part of the car has been that the exhaust, the end performance, the test pipes, and the Gintani tune. Overall though, guys, this is the start of V2. I'm excited because it's, it's been a, you know, I've only had the car for a year and it's been an experience to go through, you know, I wrapped it satin black at one point, hated it, ripped it off, and now we're here with this fiery orange. And I finally feel like the car has something a little different, like it stands out. And you know driving down the road, like if you see this car, you know it's mine just by the way it looks. I think cars, photography, uh, cinematography, it's all an art. It really is, it's something to express yourself. And it's just, it's just dope to like do a bunch of work and then set, sit back and look at it and be like, fuck yeah, it looks sick. But anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, you know? And of course, you gotta hit that subscribe button as well. Write me a comment, let me know what you guys think of the build.